Hey guys, Kev here, and we are in the truck. It's New Year's Eve for me. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I hope your New Year's went splendidly. I need a fucking haircut. So listen, first up, I got a sick unboxing of a prototype Null Knives sent me, but let me talk about this hoodie real quick. Why? Because it's crazy random and expensive and I don't know why I bought it, but turns out I fucking love it. So I want to talk about it. This is a hoodie I got from Triple Aught Design. First thing I want to say is Triple Aught Design or whatever it's called, Triple Aught, I think it's design. Their, their service, their pricing, it's a little outrageous. I mean, the pricing is like, whoosh, whoosh. Um, the service is rough. I had to email like three times every time I needed to do something because I got the black one originally and that was too big. I got 2XL because that's usually what I fit in. And um, that didn't fit. It was way too big. So I had to exchange it. And it was this whole flipping process. I mean, I ordered the original one around Black Friday. I think it was that day. And I did not get this one until like right before Christmas. I got lucky and it got there in time for Christmas. Not that it was a gift for Christmas, but whatever. Um, it took like a month to get it in the first place, exchange it, which you guys know me, I instantly was like, all right, this doesn't fit. It's in a box, ready to go, send it out the next day, right? Like I do everything bang, bang when it comes to shipping, if I can. So I sent it priority, like all that shit. It still took a month to get everything sorted out. So I want to tell you that I absolutely love the hoodie. I just have to emphasize that I don't necessarily love the the brand and the service. But if you provide a, a sick product, that is ultimately, you know, the most important thing. Do I want to have hand-holding service? Yes, I do. But um, it's okay in this case. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain that better. But anyway, this was $275. Never spent that much on a clothing item in my life, I don't think. Ah, it might be wrong. But it's expensive for a fucking hoodie, right? I just saw it and was like, it looks cool. It's called the Shagmaster hoodie from Triple Aught Design. I don't know if it has some other brand name or whatever, but it's the Shagmaster hoodie patch. And that's one rub. I hate the patch thing. It has these fucking patch spots on the arms. So dumb. Like, what am I going to do? I'm going to put my dead nuts patch over here. I, make it small, at least. Luckily, when I exchanged it, I asked for this gunship gray instead of black, and it hides that patch really well. On the black, it's obnoxious. Like, you just have this big fucking gray spot. Um, there's also a patch down here that actually comes off, and that's like your branded patch. That's kind of cool. I might swap that out and put the dead nuts on there, but... I kind of sold all those anyway. Um, so point being is this hoodie is awesome. It's very thin and like lightweight for being so warm. Right, it's not like thin, but it's not heavy duty. Like I have a Carhartt hoodie that I, I just gave away. I'm sitting in the Goodwill parking lot right now. I gave away a bunch of hoodies and jackets because I tried to minimize, you know, this winter. I tried to get some new stuff and then just get rid of everything. So I bought this and I bought a... Uh, Carhartt Montana something something winter coat that thing's sick as well and that was probably 150 bucks too but now I'm set for the years to come right but anyway this hoodie's sick it's got this shag thing to it and for the thickness of it it's so warm uh, I love that but it also breathes so like right now when I don't need it to be piping hot it's fine it feels good you also have these pockets which also act as like air vents so you can open those up to get a little bit of a breeze in here if you need to yeah instantly cools down that's cool you also have them like right here you can also use them as pockets obviously um don't love this as the pocket i kind of want it to be a little bit lower and then be able to like drop my phone in here or whatever but it works right um they have these little spots for your fingers, which I thought was gay as shit. Like, when I say gay, I'm a 90s kid. I just mean not cool. <laughs> I thought it was gay, and um, but man, when it was like 12 degrees the past week, I wore my nice Vessi gloves, which 
Shout out to the Vessi gloves. They're really good as well, by the way. Um, they're waterproof and they're warm enough. I mean, they got me through 14 degrees, 10 degrees. Um, and then I popped my fingers in here and it was like, mm, it's really nice. So the sleeves are a little long like this, but they're meant so that you can hook that and then it's very comfortable, but it works either way. I really like this hoodie. It also has a uh, pop-up John. So you can put your hood up and then you can zip all the way up like this and it kind of like uh, envelops your face. It's really cool. When I'm standing up, it works much better. And it's like right up there and it, I don't need strings and shit to make everything work. I think it might have, I don't think it has any strings. It doesn't need them. Like it just works. Um, so I really like it. The only downside I have is the patch because sometimes I feel that patch corner like inside on my arm and it gets a little scratchy and I have to just adjust and then the zipper took a minute to break in like it didn't want to work well right away but now it's fine and occasionally the bottom zipper piece will start sliding up a little bit because you can zip it up or down um, but uh, it's been fantastic I really love this hoodie and I'm glad I bought it so sorry about that I know you guys are probably like shut the fuck up um, I'm carrying the winter blade factor because I'm gonna ring in the new year, baby. Yeah, I was saving that one. I was saving that one. So this is from Noel Knives. I'm sorry I just subjected you to a hoodie review, but I wanted to mention it. I really like the hoodie. So here we go. As usual, we got cool packaging and stuff here. Got this crazy paper stuff. What was that? Oh, that was the box cut out. Okay, uh, this is gnarly. What is this? That's some crazy packaging right there, dude. I'm gonna try my best to pass that along. I don't know if this is going back to you or to somebody else, but I'll try. That's... <laughs> you packaged that very well. There's a lot of paperwork here. I'll probably uh, read this and use it for the review. I really don't wanna subject you guys to reading all this right away. But this knife is called the Grace, okay? So let's just uh, quickly answer some questions. Um, they are making changes already, I can tell you, which is good, I appreciate that. Um, so this is the Knoll Knives Grace, and it is a collaboration, this is what I wanna get out there, with custom knife maker Brandon Corbin of Corbin Steel WRX, all right? so. Just want to make that clear. He's out of Virginia. I believe he's the maker that my buddy Casey over at Knives Fast always drools about his work and wants one. So that's cool. This is the black um, Grace, and I did ask for the black. He, he asked, is there one you want? And I was like, yeah, black. He was like, all right, cool. So this is obviously going to be manufactured by Riot. I can tell you right off the bat, it, it um, the PVD color and, and the... Uh, my Carta, everything looks just like my GOM, uh, which is cool. You have that pivot that sticks out a bit. That's interesting. I don't know if I would prefer that sticking out. I kind of would want it to be flush, but that's me. And again, there are changes. Don't know what they are. I like doing that. Um, oh yeah, this is finished extremely well. The Null Knives logo is really sexy down there. And I'm guessing the Corbin one's gonna be on the blade. Uh, nope, it's up here. Corbin Steelworks, I think it says. Right there. Yep, Steel WRX, Steelworks. We are dead nut centered, looks like. We have a floating backspacer situation. So you basically just have a pin and then you end up with some, um, the way you do a floating backspacer, at least that I understand, is you need a pin or two and then you need, uh, or barrels, whatever you, you usually use. And then you use uh, basically barrels. You use like washers almost to, to offset from the scale and that gives you a floating look. So there's little black rings right there that I can see and that's what's keeping it centered and floating. It's very interesting. I've heard mixed reviews on how uh, that actually ends up working from Riot, but uh, looks like they did a good job here. The micarta is beautiful. Yeah, this is really nice. So let's give it a right hand thumb flick. See what happens. Okay, right hand thumb flick. Oh, close it. Okay. All right, I'm just testing that D10 out. Oh, 
it's fine. A little lighter than I would want personally, but it's not like too light, you know what I mean? And it's probably the reason you're getting that amazing closing action. And I'm adjusting to it right away. Fires, yeah. I mean, even just a slow push, it fires. So that's just me getting used to it. This blade is fucking gnarly, dude. I did not, like pictures are one thing. Left hand, beautiful flick. Um, pictures are one thing. But this is one gnarly blade. It's a fucking marlin spike. I mean, look at it. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, yeah, it's like a marlin, dude. A swordfish. Like, that's insane. That clip point, it's a clip tanto. Fucking just rockets up and is thin as shit up there. That is crazy looking. I don't know why in person it looks way more gnarly than it does in, in uh, pictures. Nice hollow back here. Flat up here. Nice swedging. A lot of stuff going on. Man, that action though. All right, moment of truth. Lefty reverse flick. We do have a bolster lock. We have a clip. All of that is lining up. Yes. All of that is lining up. Bang. No problem. Lefty, righty, money. Um, I like this design. Uh, the It has a bolster lock design, but it's not like uh, hard to get to. So I'm on the lock bar right now, and I can fire it because of that detent, um, which honestly, detent's fine. No problem with that detent. I just had to adjust, or maybe it was cold for a second. Um, ergos, pretty good. Pretty good. Feels good in the hand. If I squeeze down, I do feel some stuff. Um, it's got some uh, swells right here and here. Right-handed with the clip. Really good. Feels better in the right hand. Uh, the left hand, when I squeeze, I'm feeling something right here. And I think it's this corner right here, even though it's rounded. But when you're right-handed, you have that clip protecting you. It kind of wraps you around a little further, and it fits your hand better. And I think that's so it's obviously meant to be uh, right-handed. The clip, not really feeling a wiggle, but I kind of feel like I can wiggle it slightly, but that's bullshit. It's mounted from the inside, looks fantastic. Um, it's awfully close to the inside scale here, which is interesting. Um, I don't think that's bad or good or anything. I just find it interesting. Uh, this whole knife is fucking interesting. I think that's the point, is it's very different and yeah it fires it feels good all the stuff is like all the details that i want in a knife are here um now the question is is the aesthetic your style and i would say it's not really my style when i first saw this knife i was like that looks cool but like it's not for me you know what i mean i think i still feel that way but i can still respect the knife and give you my honest opinion. And so far, it's really good. Um, feels really good in the hand right there. You could choke up like this. You just need to be careful because you're gonna get hooked. Um, but that works fine. I mean, for whatever you're gonna do, choked up on your $360 knife or whatever it's gonna cost. Fires really well. I will say, uh, it's a little bit of an adjustment because it's, it's a slim handle. And the studs have good access. It's just like, I don't know. It's it's just different. You have to get used to the knife. That's all. And I feel like when I thumb flick it, it wants to shoot out of my hand. Like I flick, and you see how I'm like just hanging onto the scale here and here, and it almost wants to like just fall out of my hand. Is that different right-handed? Yeah, because of the clip. Yep. So right-handed, you have the clip, and you're grabbing the clip, and it really locks you in. I don't have that feeling at all right-handed. Um, so that's gonna be a lefty thing if you're okay with it. You just gotta make sure you really hold on when you flick the thing. Uh, can you slow roll it? Yep, you can slow roll it. Yeah, this is cool. I like it. Uh, I almost feel like it'd be cool to have a flipper tab right here. I never say that. I never say that. But it feels good and like comfortable in my hand to where I'm like right here and I wanna just psh, 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 you know, I just want to pull that trigger. Um, lock up. Good, solid lock up. Pops over. 
no rock, no blade play at all. And you saw the action. I mean, she sings down. Uh, it's got, uh, this is the thing I always say about Null Knives. Null Knives, Sharp by Design, Leon Ma, uh, Renegade Provisions Co. They know what they're doing when they hit up Riot. They utilize Riot's capabilities. Look at the chamfers around the edges of everything. Just look how rounded and beautiful that is. Look how flush these inlays are. That's not just Riot being good. That's them providing a sick CAD file. Um, that's it. There's a big difference. If you send Riot your CAD file or just send them a design and say, hey, here, make this, they're going to make it really well. Riot knows how to make shit well, but they're not going to go to the extent of this, right? Unless your CAD file is dictating these epic chamfers. And that's what they did. And that's what they got. And it's very, very nice. So the Knoll Knives Grace Corbin Steelworks collaboration. Right off the bat, I'm impressed. If this is your style, you will love this knife. If it's not, and you're like me, then, you know, it's probably not going to be something you pick up because you just don't like these gnarly tantos like this. And, you know, but I, it's growing on me immediately. I'm already like, ooh, maybe I do need one of these. Like, I want one. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I want everything that, that I... Uh, marginally like and I'm not saying I marginally like this I'm just saying in general but I just don't have the money to buy everything you know what I mean um, so I do try to dial in my tastes a little bit but man this is fun this is good so I don't know I don't know things could be changing over here I might be a gnarly tanto guy now and it works really well lefty as long as you reverse flick it the thumb flicks a little questionable I mean it's not questionable. It's just, you know, if I really fired it, and I would just be pissed if I dropped it. You know what I mean? Because one, this thing's going to go right into your leg. And two, it's an expensive knife. So anyway, that's long enough uh, for me to do a hoodie review and a knife unboxing. Let me know what you guys think of this. I think it's really cool. Nice lanyard hole. It's a smaller knife. Let me pocket, pocket it. Uh, I would add a little retention on this clip. It's, it's very loose, uh, not very loose, but it went in and out fine, but it, it doesn't have a ton of retention. I would add a little bit of retention. Again, there's changes that I haven't looked at, so that could be one of them. <sighs> this is fun, dude. Yeah, this is, this is a good one. I would maybe dial the detent up like a smidgen though, personally, but it's right, it's good to go. So if they're making changes and it's already this good, yeah, um, no problems with lock bar access. It doesn't have a ton of cutback because it's a thin handle, but I have no issues getting in there at all. It's perfect. So yeah, this is a good one, guys. All right, I'm gonna shut up. Thank you to Sean over at Noel Knives. Really appreciate it, dude. As always, appreciate you uh, uh, keeping me in mind with these um prototypes and being able to check them out means a lot dude and uh here we go that is the knoll knives grace you'll see my review uh closer to the pre-order so um i will post the unboxing i will show this off on live streams if i have one while i have it etc but um i won't post the review until closer to the pre-order because it makes more sense for them and i'm happy to oblige so um yeah thank you guys for watching Happy New Year. I love you all. Y'all can call me the Shag Master. And uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.